Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wiffles here and welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B-Team! And oh, oh, oh boy, are we getting ready for war. You guys have no idea. There is turmoil in this entire area. There are battles, there are rebels, there are factions being created and I need to get myself ready. So I've been working long and hard off camera to get ready for the battle and oh man, I am very, very, very excited. So. Welcome back to Attack of the Beats. Obviously, if you guys are excited, hit that like button. Let me know you want me to continue the series and we'll continue posting it as often or even more often than I am right now. I'm trying to get videos out of Attack of the Beat team as much as possible because I've been really enjoying it and you guys have been just crushing that like button in the comment section. You seem to really enjoy it. So, first of all, I added another modifier to my pickaxe to increase its haste to about 100. And I'm wearing I'm wearing skin scale again. Stop it! I don't want to! Um, so that's the first thing. Just, just a cute little thing I did off camera. The next big thing I did off camera, it took me so long, but I'm making myself a war room. A devastating underground, or at least in the mountain, war room. I, I, I wrecked my entire bedroom. I was like, I don't need a bedroom. This is war here. Like, we don't need luxury. And uh, I went ahead and actually made myself a war room. Now, for the war room, we need a lot of power. And uh, the leadstone energy cell is great. That's fine. It's okay. But, for our war room, we need something a little bit more intense, so I was actually looking up energy cells. And I decided, well obviously I can't do creative, but the leadstone, 400,000 RF and an 80,000 RF per tick, eh. Hardened, 2,000 K RF, okay, Tw yeah, 2,000 K, wow, that's, that's still a lot, 400 RT, uh, RF per tick, that's pretty good. Redstone energy cell, 10 million RF at 2,000 RT, RF, uh, uh, RF per tick. Oh my gosh, these are two English words. And I was like, that's pretty good. But what about the resident energy cell? 50 million RF and 10,000 RF per tick. Oh, baby. So that's what we are getting ready today, guys. Oh no, what happened to my, re my cute little recipe I was making? First thing we do is we have this redstone energy cell. Uh, to make this, I actually went ahead and made another fluid transposer. This one had all the water in it, stationary tropics. And it was just really annoying to kind of get rid of. And I didn't really want to do that. So I made another one. It was really easy. And I filled it up with the stabilized redstone, which I got from the magma crucible by putting redstone in. And then I went ahead and put it into, um, how did I, I think I just popped it over and made it so that it, yeah, it went up here. So orange up and straight into this fluid transposer and uh straight here and then we went ahead and just destabilized redstone put it into the uh into this uh, empty frame to fill it up and we are good to go um hey you know what puppy you need to you need to stop that you need to stop that puppy oh my god let's build this and rock and roll so it's this i believe you like this electrum blend i think like that and then ah redstone energy cell so we have our redstone energy cell, which is really good I would be okay with that, but we want this Enderium. So we made Enderium blend, which again took forever. And I think we need to go and put this into the induction smelter. Take out our Cinnabar. Holy moly, he really wants to, hold on one second guys. Little mini wolf is being crazy, don't worry, don't worry, I got him, I got him. So uh, this should be rocking and rolling and producing. And we should be getting our Enderium ingots. So I actually made a lot more than necessary, which is great. But we got it. This took so long. Enderium ingots are brutal. So resonant energy cells. So what are we going to go ahead and do with this? Well, I'll show you. Oh, I am not. Oh, no fall damage. Look at that. So check this out. Uh, I wonder if I can actually do it like that. Okay, you can't. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. So we're gonna go up here. Um, I can't fly yet. Soon, soon, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go scrape some bats and get that going. But don't, don't look in the war room yet. Don't look, it's not ready. Um, so we got this pumping and rocking and rolling. Let's put our resonant energy cell right there. Interesting. I'm doing something really dumb, like, incorrectly. Like, that's, that's obviously what's going on right now. I'm being, I'm being a derp. Um, hmm. So I feel like if I run, hold on, how am I doing? I think, I think it needs to come out into a pipe. That's what has to happen first. No, it should connect right in here. Um, and then do I have, interesting. Uh, oh, steam dynamo, is that a coal? Let's put some coal in here. Um, that's really, really, oops. That's really, really interesting. Um, why is that not 
connecting resonant energy cell signal enabled low hmm. all right let's let me i don't want to break this because i don't want to lose twenty six thousand rf <sighs> issues issues i don't know what to do maybe it's just so big that like it was taking a really long time to fill up but zero rf okay 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 um we want to set up the bottom aha but can we set up the top because i do want this to hang over my battle tower room okay so if we do this and then we go no Hmm. Okay, so it has to be on top, which is unfortunate. I probably could run um, pipes out of this and then wrap it around and have the pipes like plug in, but I'm probably instead going to do ah, that'd be kind of cool. Um, hmm. Let me let me try this out and then I'm gonna try it with pipes and see which one I like more. And uh, we'll come and I'll let you guys. Uh, uh, we'll decide on camera. Okay, so I'm making these pipes for the first time. It's the Redstorm Energy Conduit, but they're empty. So just like the uh, the frame, I figured I might as well show you this process for people who don't know how to do this. Um, I, I need to fill it up with Redstone Energy. And I think, it, I mean, it's 10,000 RF per tick, which is great. I mean, it, it's not even close to as much as we can actually produce in the resonant energy cell, which is 10,000 RF per tick, but it's the closest I think that we can get. Um, it, it's actually pretty freaking awesome. Wait, oh yeah, no, it's 10,000 and 10,000. That's exactly what we need. So I went ahead and I am magma crucibling a whole bunch of destabilized redstone. So you literally just throw the redstone to the magma crucible. And this should be filling up. Uh, for some reason, it's not. Hold on one second here. That's yellow. That should be on the bottom. And uh, there we go. Stabilized redstone. Hey guys, do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna fill up, please? Do you wanna fill up? That'd be great. Um, this was working before. What did I what did I do? What am I doing differently here? I can never get things right, guys. It's always I'm such a derp. Right, so so I got it. I got it. Here we go. Destabilized redstone coming in. Uh, I just I had it set to empty instead of fill. You go ahead and just pump this thing in, uh, just like exactly like I was I was doing. It looks all fancy and stuff, and then uh, you get your redstone energy cells here. So uh, awesome stuff, and that should be off. Fantastic. And I don't, I would think that fill, okay. All right, so if I have a bucket or something of, I wonder if I can re-put it back in, no. So I could fill this up with the stabilized redstone, but I obviously just have my magma crucible doing that here. So this will always be just empty. So we're emptying the tank into whatever is placed here, whatever is empty, so on and so forth. So that's great. Uh, so this is what it's gonna look like with this Coming out, can they, so the question is, can these connect? Okay, so wow, that actually looks so sweet. Uh, so if we do on either side, and they come down like this. Oops, hold on, let's just go ahead and grab that. Oh, no, we don't wanna waste any of these. This is Electrum Blend, very, very expensive. Uh, and we put our resonant energy cell right there. This is gonna start filling up nice and quick, and that looks extremely badass. <laughs> oh my god, what a sick chandelier. That is so crazy looking. So welcome to my crazy layer of doom. Um, it's not quite finished yet, and these it's really, really expensive um, material that I'm using to build it. So, uh, oh, hello there, what is going on? 30 FPS, that's no good. That is no good. Max FPS, please, and clouds off. Ah, well, we'll deal with it for now. Um, that's, that's really weird. So I have these steel ingots, and oh, that went into here probably. And the steel ingots need to be made into steel blocks. Now, not to be confused with the Tinker's Construct block of steel, because uh, it actually looks different, as you can tell here. Uh, and then what we do is we go ahead and we take out our saw, which is going to be in here. And I go ahead and just break it down and cover. So 21 actually turns into a lot more than 21. Uh, it's going to probably turn into, I think, like two stacks of covers, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, let's just go ahead and we'll do we'll do half. Just fully, fully half these down to, to covers, um, steel covers. So, yeah, we get a stack and a half, um, which is which is plenty. So I'm going to go ahead and, and finish placing all of these into here. 
Uh, I think it looks really cool, and uh, I can't wait to have this little war room done. We're probably going to set up an automated DNA system going on too, which I'm really, really excited about. I was kind of um, sad that in the last episode my, where I was doing DNA, the pipes weren't working, but it was just because I had them wrong. I just, I, I wasn't, I was derping, all right? I had a little bit of a derp. It happens. It's so, I, I know how to do those, I know how to do uh, item ducks, and I just, I derped so hard and just... You know what? It happens. It happens. So uh, we have those lifted up by one block. So I'm, what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it so that it breaks up into like three different uh, or even just two different. So if it's if it's a normal cell, it automatically for here, it's going to go into the DNA extractor. Once it becomes a DNA extractor, I mean, it needs to be encrypted anyways, no matter what. So it's going to get encrypted. Uh, once it's decrypted, it's going to go into two different chests. So if it's a basic gene or has the opportunity to be a basic gene, it's going to go in a chest that's above the DNA splitter. Um, and if it's not a basic gene, it's going to go into a separate chest that's that not basic gene. Because I still have to click, um, I think, to do the basic gene, unless maybe I can do like an autonomous activator. I'm not entirely sure. I will have to look up something to see if it's possible. But these three steps we can definitely automate uh, and just boom, boom, boom. Uh, and once we get to the DNA splitter, we're going to have to figure out the best way to, to handle it at that point. But anyways, I'm going to place all these blocks down, get our war room nice and ready, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody. Welcome to my war room 2.0. Hallelujah. How Awesome is that we got the resonant energy cell going. I mean, it's not even close to full I've gone through so much charcoal and I'm burning up a lot more to try and keep up here um, <laughs> It's insane. We made all these redstone energy conduits, which aren't that expensive. It just it's the hardened glass um, Which you need obsidian for which is a little annoying because we don't have a, a, an ultimate um, an endless source of lava um, and then it's the uh, pulverized lead, which we have a pretty decent amount of. Uh, with the electrum blend, which I made a whole bunch of electrum blend actually, electrum ingots. Uh, we're just we're just killing it with that. Um, and then so I, I did that. I actually lined it on the outside, uh, so it doesn't you know have to come on down, which I think is really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed that line throughout the entire wall, and whenever necessary, just pop it out. It's gonna be insane. So this is gonna be my DNA corner. Um, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna probably definitely end it here and have another th corner of stuff here. Uh, and I've already, so I, oh, darn it. Oh man, well, I'll be gone for now. Um, I also have this down here, by the way. Now, I know it's not centered. I actually wanted to make it off-centered and then I might wanna make it centered, but I can actually um, request things down here, which is cool. And I wanna have these all over my place as well. All, uh, one in the kitchen, it's really easy to do. So I'm definitely gonna make a couple more of those around the house. Um, also, outside, fed, can't see the wires anywhere. But check this out. So we have skin scales going here, uh, cell of a skeleton going here, and then unfortunately this is where we run into our issue, where <sighs> doesn't work. It won't get split. So unless I'm doing something in a raw, I think I might, I think I'm missing a step here. Hold on. So if I do cell of a skeleton, right, so I actually am, I think it's to DNA extractor is supposed to be next? Hold on, we're definitely doing something wrong here, which which is good because for a second I was like, okay, we're, we're, we're done here. Uh, it wouldn't be the DNA breeder, it's not the centrifuge, it's not the combiner, it's not, and it's not the splitter, so, and I don't think it's the decryptor. I actually, I think it's the extractor. So fill this up and, aha, it is the extractor. Okay, sweet. So that's filling up like crazy, by the way. These things run, like uh, like we said before, I think at the 10,000 RF uh, per tick, which is insane. So now the extractor should go into the decryptor. And then you guys are all like, freaking out. Sorry about that, guys. My apologies. Uh, and that should go into the... Oh, the extractor's done. All right. And that goes into the decryptor. And the decryptor should go into the splitter. Uh, if... Uh, will it go into the splitter? This is where we're going to run into our issue. Oh, I just saw the gene move over. And, ooh, infinity. Where did I get that from? Oh, the skeleton? Oh, cool. I wonder how that works. So, now we're stuck. We need to actually click this. So, how are we going to get that clicked? I have no idea. Um, I'm going to need your guys' help. I'd rather not look uh, online. Maybe autonomous activator. 
Maybe there's another way to do it uh, to automate the genes, but if this is the farthest we can get, then I'm okay with it. Uh, what we're probably going to do is move this somewhere else and then have this just pump into another diamond chest. And then I could just go ahead and just scale, 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 scale. It'll go through these steps and it'll end up with these, uh, these genes. They'll have to be split and made, but other than that, I think we're going to be okay. And I'll probably have another level of automation right below. This is why I did a double stack here. Uh, just like this and right down here is going to be the um for, for i'm going to throw in all the normal genes and then we're going to put it into uh uh what is it breeder i think it's a breeder and then a combiner or a combiner and then a breeder uh or whatever or, or whatever it is i i gotta remember it for some reason i can't i can't remember it at the moment but anyways um we're stuck here uh we are stuck here which is unfortunate so we're probably gonna have to Let's just break this for now, um, and then we'll put this instead, and then let me just pop these out. And again, this is this is unfortunate, but it is it is to be expected, and that's gonna go ahead and throw in here. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw a ton of scales in here. I'm gonna fill this thing up with scales. It's gonna fill up with with helixes, and then from there, at least we'll have a ton of opportunities to to kind of build from from that. So. At least that's good. This is just gonna pump, 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 pump. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab a ton of scales. I might look for a bat scale. I'm definitely gonna get chick. Uh, well, we have no fall already. Uh, just, just a whole bunch of random stuff, and uh, I'll be right back in just a little bit, guys. When this thing is all automated and pumping out helixes like it's nobody's business. All right. Okay, so I was having a little bit of an issue with these. Oh, look at these cute little blocks of cobblestone. Uh, this wasn't a junction pipe, a routed junction pipe. So this whole extra system here was confusing these pipes like I've never seen before. Uh, nothing was actually getting to here, and then it was throwing it back. So I couldn't request anything. I couldn't do anything. So I got a one junction pipe that I actually had. Placed it right here, and everything went to its merry, merry place. Now, the actual thing is I'm running out of space soon, which I'm a little bit afraid of. Um... To be fair, there is a lot of wasted space in these things, like a kelp, which I can probably go in and clean up, which I might do before I add more chests. But um, other than that, it's like, yeah, we're running out of like jungle sapling. Like, what? Get out of here. Like clay, we can go ahead and just put these all together um, just to save a little bit of room like that and then put them back. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're almost kind of full on space here so i might have to expand this a little bit in the future but for now we're okay we got this junction pipe everyone's happy we got our war room we got these things rocking and rolling we got a whole bunch of stuff and i gotta go out and get some more stuff some more dna uh, i might want to go to the nether just to, to see what i can get um i want to get wither scales and i want to get iron golem scales that's what i wanted to do okay i think we totally have enough iron to make it happen as well uh, so it's it's iron blocks. The funny thing is, fun fact about me, I've never actually made an iron golem before in Minecraft. Uh, make fun of me. Go for it. I dare you. Uh, it just it just it just never it's never happened. I just asked for. Oh man, you guys are gonna make fun of me. So I need a pumpkin. Now I'm gonna go to the spawn village and see if someone actually has around here because I don't really want to run around and find one. Uh, so we can actually make an iron golem and then grab all of his scales hopefully he doesn't kill us <laughs> hopefully uh, maybe i want to actually grab my blood beforehand with a syringe um just in case i lose i do lose something that would be unfortunate and so pumpkin um oh god we can't stay here for long because uh, we might get ourselves shot the uh, rebellion is still going on so we're going to stick to the outskirts going inside might be a little bit too dangerous uh so just kind of kind of be careful oh god this is a that's a redstone energy conduit that's, an, that's so awesome. Hold on a second. Ooh, resonant portable tank. Redstone energy cell. Ah, you big noob. You big noob. This is for noobies. What is this? Actually, maybe I should upgrade this. Who's, whose place is this? Um, ah, this place does not accept skiz bucks. It's because of the rebellion, my friend. Uh, whoa, what is going on here? Crazy. I don't want to show too much because I don't know uh, this. I actually don't know whose place that is. I should I should look around for that. B-dubs tree fortium. Tree fortium. That's a cool tree. 
He said he was gonna make me a tree, guys. He never made me want a mad. A mad. Maybe I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go against B Dubs. That's gonna happen. Oh, we gotta watch out, commanders. Commanders. We get. We can't stay here for long. Okay, so let's. Uh, just because B Dubs never built me a tree, let's go into his house and steal something from him. Just don't tell him, okay, guys. Um, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna see if he has any pumpkins. Ah. I can take one of these. He won't mind, guys. That's okay. It's okay. Just don't tell him, alright, please. Thank you. Thanks. You guys are the best. Uh Pumpkin. There it is. Hey. Okay, cool. Let's head back to base. Let's get out of here, yo. Before we get seen, before we get spotted. Let's go, 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 go. Back to our home. Uh why isn't it not showing up in the distance? Come on, render. I see I see the redstone. Um the 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 pipes there, but nothing else. All right, awesome. We gotta get like turrets and stuff set up on our place because right now we're not ready for battle. Uh, we should also get this to turn into an Archimedes flying ship and just imagine if I just moved my ship into their base. It was just like, ah, the Borg is here. <laughs> Resistance is futile. He will be assimilated. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we are uh, ready to go to make this thing. Let's go make it over here. Oh, right. We wanted to just pump our blood before we did this. All right, so where is uh, syringe? Syringe. I don't actually know how to pump my blood and keep it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump it and I'm gonna put it in a fridge and just go ahead and do that. Um, and I don't know if that's the right or wrong thing to do. So, wow, we gotta make this a lot faster. I think it has to go all the way to the bottom requested pipe? Router requested pipe? I don't know why this isn't working. Uh-oh, we have an issue. We have a dilemma. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Um, that should help. That should help. All right. Let's let's get the syringe out here. Oh, I okay. It made it out. Apparently, I lost it. Uh, syringe. Syringe. Dude, what are you? Baby syringe. Baby come back. Okay, let's just make sure that this is working. And ah. Good, good. Alright, we're good to go now. That should that should be that should be fixed. Um okay, so syringe is request another one, because who knows where that one just but they are really easy to make, so I'm not worried. And there it is. Okay, cool. So let's pump ourselves uh let's pump out some blood. And the syringe is filled. Let's go ahead and put it uh back into here. And that'll be good to go. All right, so let's go make this iron golem, and we're gonna go take some. We're gonna just go scrape his skin, and hopefully he doesn't mind. You know, let's tell him we'll be like, dude, it's like a doctor's appointment. That's all. I mean, that's all you gotta. That's all you gotta think of it as. That's all, dude. Uh, so I think it's one. This is off memory here. Ah, hello there, iron golem. You ready to go to the doctor's office? Doctor's office indeed! He doesn't mind, he's not even mad at me. He understands. He understands what's going on here. Alright, so let's just go pick it up and here. Oh yeah! Iron Golem skin, baby! Alright, hopefully he doesn't despawn and we can just come back and scrape him anytime we want. That is that's awesome. Okay. Um and if he does respawn, super easy to make. Not a big deal. We got we got that. Hey, revenge! You got a hat! Revenge! When did you get a hat? You look so pretty now. I, I don't know if I could say I like the look on you, but I mean, you do look like revenge. So, anyway, it's nice, nice little hat, buddy. Good for you. Really, really, really pushing your fashion game, bro. Really pushing your fashion game. Always impressed with what you bring to the table, revenge. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and throw these things in here, and let's just start pumping them out. Uh, oops. Uh, just like that. And we'll go into here and grab the rest of these. And we should be good to go. Sick. Place these in here. Reinforced chest is almost full. Great. All right. And the rest we'll keep in our in our bag. Uh, just like that. All right. Awesome. So let's check out how we're doing over here. Oh, baby. Look at this. All right. So these helixes are going to fill up. That's really, really exciting. I cannot wait for that. Um, but yeah. So there you have it, guys. War Room 2.0 is underway. We got our resonant energy cell. I do kind of want to remake 
that cell back at the spawn village. We're not ready for it because I don't know whose cell that is. So if I went ahead and just made that into a resonant one and then all of a sudden it turns out that I like pissed off the wrong people, I could get into some trouble. So we're going to uh, we're gonna play it cool for now. All right, we're going to play it cool and we're not going to do anything. So uh, that's going to be it for the war room, guys. We got a lot of stuff done today. Oh my God. I was actually able uh, off camera, just a, a little pointer for the people who stayed around to the end of the episode. Uh, it was off-centered. Uh, it was, so I actually closed it in one, which uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't even notice it was done. <laughs> yeah. Put a little uh, glowstone, make it look all cool. Uh, so what I need to know from you guys is what you want to see in the war zone room. Uh, in the war room, what are we gonna do with this with this place? Um, are we gonna cover up the floor with something? Maybe like some steel or whatever. Uh, you know, you tell me. So far, we've got this automated DNA system. Uh, which is going to be super, super exciting. Uh, definitely going to get stacked up on that. And you know what? Let me go ahead and actually get the uh, iron scale going. Uh, I want to get that that power on me. And that's the last thing I do this episode. So I'm just going to go away for one second, guys. And actually, in the next episode. In the next episode. Just, just for you guys, because I know how much you love those quote-unquote cliffhangers. So I'll see you guys later. This has been Attack of the Beat Team. If you enjoyed, obviously hit that like button. Check everyone out in the description below. It's very important you guys leave some comments right now. Because some big decisions we got to make in terms of team... And uh, what to do next with the war room. But next episode, we are going to get really ready. We have this room set up. This took me uh, quite a while to make. But now it's literally just filling this up with workbenches, work tables, gun making, mech making, uh, gene making. It's going to be insane. And I'm going to need you guys to help in terms of what you want to see from me. So that's going to be it. I'll see you guys later. Take care. And goodbye.